Welcome back to Allotment Diggers. It's the 17th of uh, September 2023 for you time travellers. Uh, I've just got back from the car boot. Made a mistake this morning thinking the coin fair, the antiques fair was on today. It's next week. But uh, we've got a few coins. I want to be sharing them in the next episode. But um, this, this week I'm going to show you what we bought last week at the end of the video. Um, we've been stocking up on, on the compost as well. I'll show you that next week as well. Um, but yeah, this week uh, we've got a few clips that I couldn't show you last week. Um, I've had to do them again. So I'll be showing you them and plus others. Uh, the first thing I needed to do was uh, this week was to just trim in front of me uh, my plot. And that was um, cutting the grass with my strimmer. So let me show you what I've done and then we'll be well, right guys, back. Um, I've got my strimmer down here. I'm just going to strim in front of me uh, my two sheds and my greenhouse there. Um, where buttercup is, I don't really need to do it, but um, I might just give it a quick zip, a zap over. But the um, job to hand is just in front of the um, the sheds where it seems to be growing. When Mike was cutting the grass last week, he uh, couldn't get that close, so I thought I'd come down with my strimmer and just give it a quick trimming over so that's what we're doing today so this is what it looks like at the moment i'll show you what it looks like in a moment um, what it looks like after we're done <music> guys I've strimmed in front of my greenhouses I've just gone down the center there just here um, however I say my arms aching so I'm not on the head I've done done the center and I've done just here where I need to do I uh, continue down there but um, done up to where up to this entrance and uh, I do for now like I say my arms hurting so I'm gonna knock it on the head but at least it uh, looks a damn sight tidier there now. So as you can see, we've, uh, we've trimmed it all. I could only go so far. Um, my shoulders started to work. But uh, yeah, that, um, that little strimmer. Um, we used that strimmer to do the in front of the plot about three weeks ago. And um, we didn't charge the batteries. Um, the battery decided to give up the ghost uh, half, well, right at the very end. But we put the new battery in which we chat what we charged when we charged the first one and uh, it's a full charge in it so yeah we've got still got a load of um, power left uh, so it's pretty good little um, strimmer that what I've acquired <clears throat> actually I was given it so all I had to do was uh, supply the uh, the power pack and I bought a new bass a spare battery as well anyway the next thing I'm going to do is move on to the back of the plot we've got a brambles problem coming in from the back of the allotments and uh, there's a couple there's a little clip here to show you what what a bit what was doing um early in the week so let me show you well guys these brambles are going a bit um crazy and uh i'm just gonna quickly give them a prune These have come from over the, the other side of the um, fence. Unbelievable. You can see where it's come through over here.
well I've cleared all that mess now I've got to tidy all this lot up now so I get on with this and that's another job done get all these little jobs out of the way and then we can crack on with the bigger jobs I'll tidy it as best I can there for now wait until the leaves fall off and then we're getting there again later on <laughs> Buttercup's uh, watching what I'm doing there oh she was something else of uh, pizza interests right anyway like I say managed to clear the the, br the brambles up, which have grown in from over the other side of the bloody fence that was hard work so yeah we've uh, we got rid of it all chopped it all up that's that'll be going to tip shortly um, now what I couldn't show you last week uh, was my sweet corn I had a fault on the on the video so I thought we'd do a few more corn and rip a few off and show you what it looks like so check this out this is what my corn's looking like so far well guys we're, we're going for attempt number two to see what the corn's like um, I've, I, I took I took three off just recently, I took one off here, one off over here. But I'm being careful because there's two on here, so I'll take I'll take this one off. That gives that one a chance. So we've got one there. Leave that one on there to, to get a bit bigger. There's two. And this one makes three. So, like I say, we're just going to tear into them and see what we've got. It's quite easy. Pull them back like that. Pull that all the way back. And then it just snaps at the bottom. And that's what you're left with. And that is basically perfect that piece that that corn there is perfect and this is called um, golden um, crest so we've got one actually it's not as big as that one but we'll see what we got here as well I say what you do pull a, pull it back and then snap it and there it goes so again so that's perfect so well we'll do one more I say I'm not I'm not just pulling these off and, and because I, we put, I pull them off to, for them to be eaten so we'll do one more. Oh, this one hasn't done as good. Snap it. Oh, God. The end hadn't done quite right there, but... Again. Some very nice corn there. I hope I've recorded this properly now. But, um, yeah, the first time we did this, it, the um, recording, um, all it kept on breaking up, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I've got some corn there for the girls. They're going to love that. But this is the golden crest at the what you where the camera's pointing. Um, this is the golden fleece now this is uh, miles away from doing yet um, now on this um, golden crest you probably can see that the the cobs they've gone the the feathers have gone really dark brown whereas on these ones they're still a, like a yellowy green they're not ready yet to be um, by no way means ready for harvest However, we've got absolutely loads of them there, and uh, so far, 
touch wood. The squirrels haven't got into them because when they do, they'll just they'll, they'll attack them all, and um, it can be a bit soul destroying. Let me just grab one more. Grab this one. So I want to show you. You see how they've gone brown here? They're really dark. Now, if you look at the ones here, where Buttercup is, see how they've, they've de they're darker than these. So this is for sure um, ripened. So what I'll do is. Pull the, uh, the top back, and um, like I say, it's just a matter. Of, that's it, snapping it. It's just not quite gone there, but that's nothing. That that just can snap that off. There we go. It looks almost well, almost perfect. That. Anyway, let's hope this uh, this shot has worked and it's not broken up. But um, we've got absolutely piles and piles of uh, sweet corn there, and um, we've still got the same amount on this lot here. So yeah, we're going to have corn for a while yet. Right, let's move on. Well, as you can see, it looks pretty awesome, and um, like I say, at the moment, I think it's 7-0 uh, to me. The squirrels will move in shortly. I'm dreading it because I've actually got another two lots of um, corn. Uh, the golden fleece and the, the mini pop are still not ready. You've seen the difference between ready and not ready. Um, if I say the, 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 the feathers go brown when they're ready, and dark brown, and... Um, as you saw there, the comparisons at the start, they're still green so on the, um, the 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 golden fleece, but the golden crest was was redder. So I've got lots of golden crest. Uh, crest. I will be taking more as the weeks go along. Another video that I couldn't show you last week was um, me lifting some salary, but I've got a, I've got a clip here to show you uh, some of the salary of what we've lifted. So let me show you that. Wow! Too. I should have filmed this. Getting in there, getting a couple of these uh, celery out. But uh, yeah, the the Strathams self blanching these ones on this side, on this side here, the other side that I've uh, called Victoria. But there's some nice uh, celery there. Oh, we can ask smell the celery. Yep. Oh, oh God, buttercup. Mischievous little devil she is. I don't know what she's looking at. Probably, I oh, know she's looking at a bird that perched up on the the top up here. But yeah, some nice celery there. Really nice. That'll clean that up. That'll be going straight into my P and M soup later. So yeah, that celery um, it, uh, that went to make um, a nice like. P&M broth um, early in the week it's all gone like I say I managed to get a bowl out of it which was not surprising at all um, the next clip I'm going to show you is um, well it's actually this is what we do every morning or every other morning and um, no different so you're going to get to see me chickens in a second and I'll show you some eggs that um, we, we, we took after we'd um, fed them and watered them Buttercup pinching a drink of water. I'm just filling my water box full of water here for my chickens. And uh, Buttercup decided to pinch a, pinch a sip. Yeah, I got my uh, scouring thing on them, cleaning them up. Clean water, healthy chickens. Now I'm going to have to go and fill that full of water again now, aren't I? Buttercup's uh, had her head in it she like well I just uh, just filled up the water feeders 
them is girls happy chickens they've got food uh, they soon turned this uh, floor to compost it's not but well, it's not compost yet but another four or five weeks and I'll be putting this onto my beds but yeah I just uh, <laughs> sorted the water out this is where I walk in there's a uh, on the floor there's a bio mat there and uh, I step in and out of that so I'm not taking anything into the into the um, pen these are perches I am getting more girls as you know but uh, I'll leave them to it there we go eat a few treats that one's run off over there with a bit of a pork pie <laughs> Well, she's left it, she's come back, she wants the corn. Unbelievable, aren't they? Oh, I'll leave them to it. Oh, some eggs there and, and grapes. Um, send them round to my mother's. I don't need any more eggs this week, I've got enough. And I can't face another grape. I think she'll like them. So we ended up watering Buttercup as well. I had to wash that again, little bugger she is. But um, yeah, we've got a bio mat there, which we walked through. You probably noticed that. But I will be getting another another eight chickens later later on, probably next month when I've, I've got my car through its MOT, if it ever gets through its MOT. Uh, another thing what we were doing to, um, this week was, um, you're going to see a clip in a moment of what the birds do with the feeders and you're going to see the result and then you're going to see the what we had to do to correct the result from what the birds had made let me show you i don't know if you can see on that feeder um actually they've just flown away just typical that so you've got a little cold tip on the left hand side in the middle well what's flicking seeds out all over the um, beds is a blue tip and on the right hand side that's another that's another cold tip that you see the black and white stripes on its head so that's on the right hand side eating out the big feeder um, the blue tits are on the other side eating the um, the um, seed balls however uh, we did have um, the great tits on there before as well for some reason oh there it is there's a great tit just notice how it's bigger than the others that's now that's on the the left hand side Oh, it's just flew off as like a, a black stripe right down its belly now on the blue tip they have only have a little bit of a stripe on its belly and a, a much smaller bird as well but what they're doing they're flicking all the bloody um, seeds onto the floor and what's happening is they're germinating and a lot of the seeds are grass seeds unfortunately and earlier this week I was um, doing a bit of um, cleaning underneath them and I got to tell you it was hard work and I still haven't finished what we're doing but there's there's a there's a, a great tip there now it's just flew away just behind the feeders in the trees their fruit trees um, they all seem to congregate around there and they're flying in and out now they've, they're a bit wary because we've got sparrow hawk and it tends to grab them left, right and centre. I've only seen the sparrow hawk do it once off my feeders, but I've seen it quite a lot of time. Its main quarry is um, baby magpies. But yeah, it's quite breezy today. You probably see the trees moving in the background. Anyway, uh, let's show you what, what the buggers keep doing and what I've asked. Well, this kind of sucks. Bloody bird feeders. Uh, all this grass, what's what the birds are flicking the seeds out, is germinating and turning to to grass. So now I've got to pick it all out. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. I'll be back when we got it a bit tidier. But yeah, I'm not happy with it. But nothing I can do about it, I suppose. Well, that was tough going. We got a. Uh, Big tub of uh, grass there from from this spot. Like I say, the birds drop the seeds on the ground, 
and it absolutely covers the plot. I've still got to weed in, in between the strawberries there, but that I can do again. It's not a major job, but that was. If I left it for much longer, it would have been a nightmare. It's been like digging your lawn up and sort of shake the, the, the weeds, the, the grass out of it. Impossible, but we've done it. I will be back, I will finish it off, but we've got 90% of the, 95% of the weeds out of here, as you can see. So I think we're going to put that down as a win. So yeah, the little buggers throw the seed on the grounds. Now we have actually got ground feeding birds like um, thrushes and um, you've got blackbirds and you've got, um, you've got donuts, so like a, an edge sparrow, you've got um, you got the robins, uh, you know, there's, there's a whole lot of birds. Uh, you got wood pigeons, um, ring neck doves, they all feed on the bottom of the, um, on, on the ground and they normally clear the, um, the seeds up, over them up, but the bloody birds are flicking them out that much, um, they actually get in time to germinate and that grass is, was caused by the seeds hitting the ground and um, yeah, that was a, another job. I had to do, but it's all as you saw there. We cleaned it up. We still got to clean the strawberry bed up, yeah, which is uh, that's another job. Lots of jobs this time of year. Uh, earlier this week, we got another delivery of um, clover compost. That was fun, and um, because um, it, it turned up at the wrong time, the wrong time me being there, <laughs> and. Um, yeah, there was an 150 um, bags of uh, clover arrived. F fortunately, there was seven seven um, people who helped to to put the the clover into the the shop, and I was one of them. And um, you'll see in the next episode um, my hoard of um, of clover, which we've got now. However, um, there was a, a spare pallet there, and it was blue. Now we got seven blue pallets and a red one well me being me i thought well we'll get the blue one and they're all the same color because we need four to do each um compost bin so we had a bit of a dilemma let me show well, you well that sucks uh it's just not wide enough the entrance there i mean it's correct width for the path bloody pallets <laughs> it's uh it's too big I have to just uh, put it on its side and then uh, drag it down to them. I just just picked this up from um, the front of the allotments. We had a load of uh, compost dropped off yesterday and um, just a spare pallet. Well, I thought I've got seven blue ones and a red one and I need eight. So I thought we'd get them all the same colour. Trouble is, the blue's coming off on my hands. Oh, well. But yeah, kind of sucks. It's just just not wide enough to go through. Oh well, we'll get it there eventually. Well, that was fun. We managed to get it past there. I just stood it on its side and wheeled it past. This is looking pretty good here at the moment. Mark's doing a good job. Pity he can't get that other back part yet. It'd be great if he could. If it looks like this, I'd be very happy. But yeah, I'm going to take this down to the back of the uh, the plot now. Put it with the other, the others, and uh, shortly we'll be um, re rebuilding the, the compost bins. Well, there we go. We've got it down here now. So we got eight of these blue ones. That red one, I don't really need it. We got all these two put on the inside so the soil doesn't fall out this is all the cladding this will be the roof we will be putting one here so this will be the first one we're going to be working on however i've got to move these blueberries up to the um front of the plot this chair's going into up the front as well we're going to have to lose an apple tree for to put this into a place but we've got enough apple so we won't miss it and it'd just be somewhere else to sit and uh, enjoy. We could leave it here, but before we do that, we have to clear all this. And what we got there is a load of double glazing, which I need to get rid of. 
just behind it this compost bin we got over there must be 70 paving stones there maybe even more just there and we have to find somewhere up there to move them all the slots gonna have to be moved as well we've got to burn this this would be the ideal place to burn it oh that's a squirrel damage that or is it I don't know no it's just wind damage I thought it was squirrel damage then that would been that been enough that been it the gloves have been off <laughs> yeah. I've been setting up my sniper's rifle for the buggers but um yeah so anyway uh, back to this um all this is going to be put into probably this bed here that's that's another job I need to take all this curly kale with have a sick of curly kale now so I'm going to tidy that bed up next. That'll be the, um, won't be able to get into it from this side, but the the other side I'll be able to get in. The pumpkin's growing wild. I don't can't see any pumpkins. I can see lots of small pumpkins. There's two there, one there, one there, one over there. But I can't see any big ones. There was one there, but it seems to have been it seems to have died. It's just rotted away. So I don't think we get any pumpkins so far. Although I said that last time and we weighed an 150 pounder. But anyway, back to this. So we've got all the um the, the, the pallet the pallets now to do this. I just need somewhere to throw all that lovely rich compost. And uh I'm probably it's gonna be piling it into this bed here at this end, because there's a load of load of veg down there, which uh, spinach and what have you. But all this lot leaves tidying up here. Anyway, enough of that waffle. That's uh, that's what we've got to do next, I think, is um, move these things. I'll show you where I'm going to put them next. Yeah, we managed to get it past um, the, the the gap in the between the two plots. Now the gap is right. It's just that normally it's just like open there. <laughs> Look here. Uh, for me, I managed to get the other the other eight down there without that being there, but uh, I don't need to move it now. Um, you've seen all the pallets that we've got down there. Now we've got the we've got um, some paving stones as well. What I'm going to lay um, to put them put the um, the compost bin on it, but that's going to happen later on in the year when um, when we've got a, a bed cleared to do some burning. Cause we need to burn all the wood, and that's going to be a job on, unto itself. Um, because I built these um, compost bins and I re really made them well so um, it's going to be a nightmare to pull them all apart but we'll do one at a time and the, the table and chairs the, the table what's the sorry the chairs what are down there uh, we're going to bring that up to the front of the plot maybe next week uh, along with the blueberries as well I've got one more clip to show you and um, that's what we've been we were buying last week on um, at the car boot a friend of mine Nathan um, he had a load of um, silver proof coins there and we haggled on the price and um, he did all right out of it and I think I've done all right out of it so I'm going to show you them there's a few other coins which I'm going to show you as well um, you might get to see more of the coins what I wanted to show you because I was looking for I give up in the end on the coins, the coins I was looking for, but um, cause I've got that many. I couldn't find which box they were in, and after about the tenth box, I decided to knock it on the head. But you're going to see one or two coins anyway. So I'll show you what we've been wasting this money on. Well, we bought last this um, box with all these uh, silver proofs in. Now these are the um, territories, and um, basically what they are. That one there's a Canadian maple. That's a nine 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 silver. That one there is a Bassanio. In fact, that even shouldn't even be in there. I'll show you where that should be in in a minute. But uh, Cayman Islands, um, five dollar. This is uh, the it's to celebrate the anniversary of the the Queen Elizabeth. Um, 
basically from 1953 to 1993. Yeah, that one, 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 and that one. They're all um, commemoratives from the territories, and there's quite a few of them there. Quick look at them. Some nice silver proofs there. That one ain't silver proof. The Norse, uh, that one over there, but the rest of them are. Anyway, so we bought them. What are these? Oh, well, where you saw that's uh, these are a date run of Britannia's. These get very expensive as you get down to like 1998. Um, I think that's when they first started. They, they're really expensive, 60, 70 quid. Some of them are worth more. But uh, we've got these. What are these? Oh, these are just a few crowns. I've got hundreds of crowns. Yeah, that's a piece of eight. Uh, which one's that one? It's George. Is it George the third? I can't really say. But uh, like I say, these are all like I say, these are all crowns. Uh, I've got, like I say, must have about hundred of these. Uh, put that back in there. But what we did buy, uh, close that box, shift it out of the way. What's in this box? Oh, we've just been in that box, haven't we? Boxes everywhere. These are more, this is another part of a, this is another part of a date room. These are more Britannia's down silver. Um, full complete date room there. These are what I've come to, to, to I'm looking for all my pandas now. I've found half a box. I need to find where to put all the others. Now these are what I've just bought. And um, absolutely fantastic. These are, cost you. As they go back into time, like um, two, 19, 2000 up to 2010, they cost you anything from 50 to 80 quid. In fact, some of them are selling for over 100 quid. Um, we've got them all. Uh, these are just a few that I didn't have. But this is another this is another date run. But these are pandas this time. And they're all silver. So this is something else I bought. This is uh, just a little coin set, a Barak of Barak of Jersey, uh, two coin set, absolutely perfect mint condition, half crowns or five shillings I should say. Absolute Bobby Dazzlers. It even comes in the case. We bought them as well. We bought these uh, last week as well. This is a date run of uh, Edward the the seventh, um, the Standing Liberties. Uh, 2002, 3, 4, that's the key date, 2005, that's like 80 quid worth of coin there. 6, 7, 8, well actually we, we made a mistake, I bought two eights, so by mistake, 9 and 10. Uh, we've actually got two more sets of these and they're in better condition than all these put together. I think the best one of theirs, probably the worst one in the other two sets. So these are a few other coins I've been buying as well. So there you go, some beautiful coins there. Now I know there's a lot of you like watching the, the, the coin, um, coin tubers, like watching these videos. I, I like watching the video coin tubers. I mean, uh, Victor, um, Christopher collects, he's a good one. Bungle um, coins, there's a, there's a whole host of them. Master Temple, all, all, uh, Bits and Bobs. Uh, I love their, their, their coins, they're my cup of tea. Three young lads, they've got into the hobby and they're absolutely awesome. They collect, the, just, they collect the stuff I collect. So all I would say to those lads is, rather than just try to get your date runs, try and collect quality guys. Try and collect the best you can. Might cost a bit more money, but in the end, the you know the the value will increase exponentially. Really, it will go up rather than the ones which are just just good. They will go up in price, but not as much as the, a, a, um, a nice coin. Yeah, so that's um, that's the coins we've been wasting this money on this week. Just got one more thing to say. It's, uh, I, I hear through the grapevine that um, Sean James Cameron um, is, uh, has closed his channel down. Um, apparently, he's, he's getting invalid tra traffic um, messages on on his um, on his channel now. I've, 
known Sean. I've actually Sean's actually come down some to my allotment. So he's a great lad, and it's such a shame because all that knowledge, what apparently he's, he's um, backed it, saved it. So it's not loss, loss, but um, it's a shame what YouTube are doing, and I know what YouTube are doing because they're doing it to me as well. However, I don't make any money from YouTube, so it's not as bad. However, I do know um, the stopping. I make a comment now. I've, I follow no political party. I mean, I look at what's right in the world and what's wrong in the world. I don't need um, the news channels, the, the false news, and all this lot to tell me what's right and what's wrong. I can see with my eyes what's going on, and um, I do make comments from time to time. On, on some of the videos on YouTube and I found out and I've actually got video evidence that when I put a video when I put a message up onto a channel a news channel it instantly gets deleted because when you refresh the page it's gone and I don't know what that's all about but um, YouTube need to get on just need to sort that out um, like I say I don't make any money from YouTube I don't make a living from it not like Sean did and there was messing with him and obviously it's clearly down to the try to save money that's what they try to do they've they put all these barriers in the way it make it very difficult for you to to make a living on youtube these days fortunately for me i don't but it's really really sad that um sean has had to um start again i think I, i'm not too sure if he's um is he's going to start another channel or what uh, only time will tell, but it is a, it is a shocker. And um, when I find out where he's at, I'll post a link up for for you um, for you all to go and subscribe to him again. Anyway, that's uh, we, we end on some sad news there. <laughs> Got even more sad news tomorrow. Um, I'm at the, um, the the clinic for ultrasound on this shoulder. That'd be the last appointment um, I, I have to do for for a while in the hospital. So I'm looking forward to it as well. Cause I want to know what's going on with my shoulder. Might need a, just a few injections to to, to heal the, the tear up in it. But I think that's all. I hope that's what's going to happen anyway. Anyway, we won't, won't know more until until tomorrow Monday. So that's it for now. I'm going to try and get the video edited, get it up a bit later. Um, sorry about the waffle at the end, but yeah, it's so it's so sad uh, um, to see another um, garden channel go to the wall. But I'm sure Sean will come back even stronger. Can hear um, a, little, a little robin there, very chipper. So we'll end on that. By the way, Buttercup, she's... Um, She's fast asleep on the compost at the moment. I can't show you the picture because then it'll ruin the video for next week. So, see you later guys. Bye for now.